Well, over the last 15 years, anti-TNF drugs have dramatically changed our management of inflammatory bowel disease. Originally given episodically and as monotherapy, and really only to the most refractory cases, but now they're often used, uh, and perhaps most often, in combination with immunomodulators and as scheduled therapy. Uh, importantly, anti-TNF drugs are now used much earlier in the course of disease process in high-risk patients. But a significant clinical challenge with these drugs is secondary loss of response, which can occur in up to 40% of patients and is most often related to antibody uh, development. Uh, any drug antibodies can increase drug clearance, producing subtherapeutic drug levels and uh, relapse of symptoms, and also can cause infusion reactions. And adverse uh, clinical outcomes and the relative lack of therapeutic alternatives are critical issues that make it imperative that we manage uh, secondary failure effectively. Now, using uh, a TDM or therapeutic drug monitoring to aid clinical decision making is a promising approach uh, to this uh, secondary loss of response. But questions still exist around the optimal measurement methods and timing, the relationship of drug and antibody levels to clinical response, the impact and role of concomitant immunosuppression, and the interpretation of TDM results.